What's up, guys? TK with Dark Cold continuing to mission 10A. Home sweet home. Sierra 2 confronts the Confederates on their home world of Tarsonis 2. Okay. Uh, the new Confederates, I'm assuming. So it's a different Tarsonis. So it's called 2. Now, I know the naming for the name so far. It's kind of. I guess the map maker is kind of making fun of it or something? So it's a desert map, okay. Start. Here's our fellow Zero Two. Commander, such a loss should surely have collapsed the NCA's hopes of rebuilding the Confederacy. However, they still linger on Tarsonus too. It seems to be their last hideout. Once again I ask precision of you, Commander. The NCA's remaining operational starports are located in a protective installation. Remain those five starports must be destroyed if we are to contain them on Core Hall. Core Hall or Hall? Core Hall? Another terror force has moved into the NCA's installation. We have no information on this new force. Although they may be tied to the NCA, it doesn't matter if they are destroyed. Our only objective is to take out the NCA. What a horrible sentence here, man. Anyway, they have no general, but I doubt they will be completely unable to defend themselves. Okay? Some bad use of punctuation marks, man. Destroy the NCA's yellow Terran five star ports. Okay? Gotta get that music ready soon. Okay, start. Alright, some this is another big map. We have like 250 starting minerals. Uh, I guess this is seeing as how there are full town cannons here. This seems to be our. I, I, I feel like the enemies will come come here or something. And then from what I've noticed playing this campaign so far is that the mineral layout, the gas layout is very different. It's like. It's like, how, how should I say? It's not inverted, but it feels like it's kind of like odd. Cause like normally, you'd expect the Vespin guys to be like over here or like somewhere over here. Like, but it's like covering up the base building area or so, something like that. I don't know, guys. Like as a map maker, I feel like having an assimilator here is kind of weird. Like, maybe that's just me, but you know, just. As a map maker, you know, StarCraft 1 map maker, you know, I just kind of feel like it, but feel like the Vespin Geyser and even the starting amount of resources in our main base is like way, way too much, man. I mean, I guess that's part of the reason why this, the, this campaign in general is easy, with, except, with the exception of some trigger failure or like some like surprise attack like the last mission, but... Yeah, aside from that, man. Okay, yeah, like this. Man, they already stepped. Okay, they. Okay, they are insane level, man. Okay, we need we need forge ASAP here. Can we make? Okay, we need a forge right now, man. And we need to reinforce our units. This area has nine HP. Well, it's a good thing in StarCraft 1, um, the shield regenerates on a periodic basis instead of, unlike StarCraft 2 where, like, in order for the Proton shield in StarCraft 2 to regenerate, uh, the units have to, like, be out of combat for, like, a certain duration. But that's not the case for StarCraft 1 Protoss. And another fact, another thing about the Proton shield regenerate is that it's faster than the Zerg's, um, Natural HP regeneration. So, what does that tell you about balance? I don't know, man. But that's just how it is, man. I ain't complaining. That's it's just good. Man, I remember like when I was playing StarCraft, like with my friends when I was a kid, like uh, like elementary. Like I always thought Protoss were overpowered or something because like. The Zealots, although it costs like 100 minerals, like freaking ripped apart marines and crap like that. Like, oh man. man, good times, man. My friends are like saying, why you play, play Protoss, man? You freaking cheater. I'm like, wow, man, it's your fault for choosing Zerg and shit. 
Uh, yeah, man. Man, that's like near, that's over a decade ago, guys. Jeez, man, that feels bad. Anyway, enough of the not nostalgia, sentimental crap. Uh, I think like in the previous mission, I was gonna talk about like the about my campaign case, yes, like. Cause like in the previous mission, like before I got assault, like raped by Brown, uh, before I got butt butt fucked by Brown or uh, Brown rings in the last mission, I was talking how like I was like I released my map like last year July, so all my maps, including the bonus maps, in 2016 July, uh, like in my Dropbox, but um, I of course like. I kept like test playing and all that like several several times to ensure that the maps wouldn't need to get fixed but in the end I still found like some faults here and there like even after several months of posting it but I mean at least I tried to like keep the map like you know from being like having like fa failure like having a bad like trigger problem and all that but man this this campaign is like some of the triggers like could be fixed in like less than like one minute whereas my campaigns like I use like more since I made my campaign the KCS campaign was F SEM draft um, I use like more stuff and whatnot so like what I had to like fix certain um triggers if it broke and stuff and it took me a while to find even when even if I okay here comes red even if, even uh when I like labeled the comments for my triggers but aside from that this campaign you know like I don't know man it could be so easily fixed but strangely strangely enough the map maker didn't bother to so oh well. okay so let's start with these two zealots here so yeah that, that was what I was gonna say with all uh, with my with KCS regarding KCS last mission, but I got cut off by Brown. But anyway, what I'm so basically what I'm saying is, you should really like test, like you know, test your map before like releasing it to the general public. You know. All right, we don't want to go there, so we need to find the. Uh, we need to find the. Uh, you know, I'm feeling carries for some reason. This map, I mean, if it's a big map, it's alright to go carriers, mass carriers, but normally I don't. But yeah, that's just me. But anyway, um. Yeah, man, like, not much going on here. I'll just make some more ground units just in case and, like, expand with. Expand with some of these, because, like, going mass carrier is very expensive, man. And costly time and money wise and as we all as and as there is a saying in English time is money man okay there's another expand this time only minerals okay I like this kind of stuff like every expand doesn't need to have like you know minerals and gas you know what I mean anywho let's slowly Set up another expand while these zealots explore. Like, okay, there's another expand here. A huge expand. We can take that later. Here's some do that here, like a broken siege tank. So yeah, I wonder who these red protons are though. It's kind of, kind of curious. Starting with these guys. Uh, wall break like air. Yeah. I hope red and yellow are enemies. Oh, and then, yeah. And then, yeah, another thing about going mass carries is that since we're up against, um, Terrence, and of course, and from, from my experience, like, throughout this campaign, the Terrans are, the Terran goals to use lockdown, so that's why, that's another reason why I'm, like, hesitant with using carries, but, man, there's a lot of expand here. I mean, that's a given since the map is freaking big, but, We'll set up some photon cannon defense here, static defenses. We'll leave the units here too. That force should be enough. Start mining. Okay, that is not where we want to go, man. Okay, let's keep Scott. Okay, let's save. 
And if, if in case, and then in case if you're wondering, oh, what happened to that other save from my mission seven? Okay, medics using optical flare. The ten reserve save that I I did like in the prior mission, like several missions ago. Well, I um uh, accidentally I accidentally um uh, over saved a different. Yeah, I basically I fucked up. Yeah, so that. That thing is gone, so after I finish this campaign, I'm gonna play the other routes and see what's up. But yeah, so far, we're, we're continuing the A route. wonder what red is. Like, I guess somewhere up here. We have to destroy the starports. But what if... So only five starports? Or what if, the, what if yellow like remakes the starports? Well, we'll see. Okay. More probes is required. Just maybe one more. And another Stargate will be beneficial for us. Yeah, seeing as how they're not attacking, it's like... No need to worry about too much, I guess. Make another carrier. Make another carrier. Stockpile some gas. We might actually expand here too for faster uh, carrier pumpage. Pumpage? Is that a word? Carrier pro uh, production. Okay, that's one. Oh, and then we have to upgrade shield too, which costs crap load of gas for some reason. This is. So this is why, like in competitive um, StarCraft, like professional competitive StarCraft matches, Protoss players never upgraded shield, man. I mean, it, it helps with the buildings too, but it wasn't worth it, you know. Yeah, it was t definitely not worth it. Anyway, we'll keep upgrading. We'll get, we'll get, we'll get weapons to burst down. Burst is always good. All right, this this. This place is getting overall expand here. We need we need the gas. That's why. Uh, yeah, this be enough probes here. Maybe get another. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, closer to the gas. Okay, we basically scouted half the map, so we're fine. And see as how um. Seeing as how the AI is not attacking us, I guess I guess red and um yellow yeah, are enemies. Hopefully. All right, make more cannons here. We can't make cannons here, I think. Sand? What? What? What was this called? Brag or something? Yeah, like some of them is like buildable, like right here, but yeah, just some weird. Like terrain. We'll make another cannon uh, pylon here. Okay, another. We need another. Okay, we're using a lot of resources fast. That's good. Normally, normally, like if you want to play StarCraft, very um, how should I say, like very. Ideally, you don't want to have like too much resources like in the in the in the display, man. Same applies to Warcraft Three somewhat, but yeah, man. Okay, we'll make more probes and transfer to here. So there are two routes that we can take from this small bridge or through this narrow like canyon over here. Canyon, canyon, like Grand Canyon, not cannon. Ah, English, man. All right. Stockpile gas. I can make another cyber next core to like, like boost this upgrade, but eh. I'm gonna get shield upgrade actually. Make more probes. And it's ideal, and then it's good to have like a lot of workers, like probes, drones, and SCPs, to get income a lot faster. Like you know, in like you know, in a competitive StarCraft two matches, 
like there would be like like a Zerg player in StarCraft 2 would make like 70 drones or something. It was kind of the same for StarCraft 1. Yeah. But the reason why StarCraft 1, like they didn't max out as fast as StarCraft 2 is because of the control groups and whatnot. Just the UI, UI function, you know. But aside from that. We'll get another weapon. Keep fire and then I forgot to make um obs observatory for some reason. Uh let's make there. Man, carriers are so expensive, man. I mean it's like less I mean it's all like certainly less than battle cruisers, but we have to invest in interceptors, we have to get the Capacity, you know, all that stuff. So that's why. Hey, there's like three probes here. That should be. We shouldn't run out of gas this fast. I mean, if there's like, re if, like you know, and the, another rule about going um mass carriers is that for sure you 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 run out of gas fast. But if you have leftover minerals. It's good to make it like z zealots man, to support your carriers, like for the ground and stuff like that. But all right, this mission is a lot easier. It's just, it was just um the the very first mission um the very first uh no not the very first the last mission it was just very surprising but. And then now it's it's all like calm and you know nothing going on, nothing too unusual going on here. We'll keep making like a chain of pylons so we we won't get side blocked. We'll like transfer like some probes there to our third third expand, third base, our second expand I mean. Okay, make more carriers. Okay, and I'll make a carrier here. Not much going on here, guys. Hmm. I mean, I can attack with these guys and see how, like, how they hold up. Might as well do it right now, right? Then we should get some armor up here. They're gonna melt and get um temp Templar, not t yeah, Templar archives. Okay. Okay, let's let's see what's going on. Okay, so there are no units in the bu bunker. These are the normal siege tanks. All right. I feel like we can attack actually. And I'll finally make an arbiter's tribunal, man. After the Templar archive finishes warping in. Alright, we lost a lot of units, but it's fine. We'll keep reinforcing. Okay, so I'll just test. Okay, so there's red here then. I guess they're friends then? Well, I wonder why yellow's, yellow hasn't been attacking us. Can I save? Hopefully, there's no lockdown here. Yeah, I guess yellow and red are friends then. Okay, now we get armor. Oh, and then we'll get um tribunal. The bane of all StarCraft players against Protoss. Mass carriers, man. Feels bad. And then eventually, I'll make Dark Archons, but... As of right now, eh, it's unneeded. It's too much hassle, man. Like making multiple, multiple. Whoa, that's a lot of marines, man. Making multiple race, you know, and stuff like that with dark archon mind control. 
And then, yeah, the thing about StarCraft 1 killers is that the interceptors are very reactive when they like fly out and attack on like StarCraft 1, uh, StarCraft 2's um, interceptors. But I think they fixed that or something in StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. And the fact that they have four base armor, man. The highest in the game. For for a normal unit, but Yeah man. That's even even battle cruisers don't have four bait four armor man. Whoa, what is this? Are they attacking now really? Hey, it's a good thing they like they do crap like sh shit little damp like very weak damage to buildings. Okay, cancel that. It's a good thing I need like photon transfer. And then we'll get recall, I guess. And then an arbiter. Get a shield eventually. Okay, there's Valkyries. Valkyries and Corsairs are not not good against like capital ships like battle cruisers or or um or carriers. Yeah. It's a shame that um, it, Zerg, like the Zerg, don't have any capital, like flying units or whatever. You know. I guess Devourer is considered as such, but oh, okay. There's um, there's the five star ports, I think, or two. We'll save. That carrier is blind. Then we'll send like the we'll send three zealots to the upper right, I guess. To explore. All uh, right, these carriers can take out the siege tanks there. And another thing about um carriers uh, is that you know how they build interceptors inside. So if they get locked down, the interceptor building will get yeah get stuck like this. Unfortunately, I guess this is the myth. I guess this is it. There's certainly more than five star ports. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and like ah, no more than more than five for sure. But okay, we'll get to that later. And I, I still don't understand who these red turns are. I'll just explore the other the other side first. Might as well, right? Okay, here comes the arbiter. Whoa, I didn't know I had this many zealots waiting. Make another gateway. Like, like certainly a lot more. The rally there. Uh, let's cancel that. Let's make a gateway like this. Rally. Rally. Let's make some dragoons too, because they need some dragoon. Dragoon needs love too, man. All right, man. Okay, let's like continuously remaking. Okay, so we have two points of shield and three upgrades in air weapons. And only one armor for both air and ground. And we got recall, so we can always recall like units here or something. I guess this is a base or something? It's got down there, man. And yeah, this is another thing about this. Like, you see, like, when I was like, so, like, select like, boxing the two carriers here, and then they're like interceptors over here in the display. Starcraft 1, like if you move the carriers, like the interceptors will not actually fully go inside, see? Like as you can see like right there, if you can spot it. So that's, that made um, interceptors, but that made carriers very like effective, you know? Cause they'll like spawn, they'll release the interceptors like, like spontaneously. But anyway, 
make some Dark Templar, we'll get weapons, we'll get some, we'll add some Scout too actually, get Scout Speed, I, I don't know why this is, like, I don't know why that's some, um, Fleet Beacon Tech, but, okay, well we call these guys in, yeah we pretty much covered the whole map, so I guess the, the right side was their base, their main base. With crap load of minerals, but and freaking three gases. What? Really? Three gases? And again, the mineral, the research layout is so weird, man. All right, there's one more start port, and I guess zip. It was a, it's a very weird macro map. Star Post destroyed, Commander. Zero Two and Captain Rayner have requested you to attend the Cold Red meeting aboard the Exion. Tactical Advisor Solomon. Solomon? Solomon, really? Alright, that, that was it for this mission, huh? Pause the music. It took only 24 minutes. I think I could have like finished it a lot faster than that, but I didn't know because like I thought these um Yeah, the Marines were set I think the AI were set to insane, but I don't know, they, they didn't really produce as much for some reason. New Confederate Alliance, Tersonus, Orbital Guard. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Yellow was like mining okay, but just there wasn't any attack group, you know? So that's why I'm hesitant to use insane AI difficulty in my campaign, but you know, it's just what can you do, man? Even I don't know how the AI like works sometimes. The AI setting, difficulty set, AI script settings. But anyway, this was DK guys, and yeah, thanks for watching again, man. Um, yeah, I think this is it for today. So I'll see you tomorrow with Mission Eleven. Bye now.